Good afternoon from this market here in downtown San Salvador, El Salvador. It's Saturday, February 4th, shortly after 3 o'clock local time. And today is my first day here in El Salvador. Everything has gone fairly well so far. The weather's a lot warmer than it was in Guatemala City when I left yesterday. And the heat coming off the plane practically hits you in the face. <laughs> um, the airport's practically on the Pacific Ocean. And then driving up here, which is about 45 minutes from the airport, it's, it's a little, it's a lot cooler. It's still warm, but it, nothing like it is on the coast. We're a bit higher in elevation. So, um, so everything is going well here in San Salvador. I just left an interview with the uh, staffers at Astran, which is a LGB and transgender advocacy group here in San Salvador. They work with uh, members of the community from across the country as well as uh, across the region. In fact, they operate the only clinic in Central America for trans people. So spent about an hour there talking with them about some of the major, major challenges that they face in terms of financing, in terms of their work, and heard a lot about some of the challenges that the trans community in particular faces here in El Salvador, most notably violence and discrimination. Uh, violence is a general concern here in this country, yet if, uh, for the LGBT community and for the trans community in particular, it's even more acute. So heard some pretty harrowing accounts of some of the violence and some of the uh, killings, quite honestly. They're not just, it's not just violence, it's actual killings that take place here in El Salvador on a far too regular basis and seem to happen with impunity and these folks are really on the front lines of not only trying to combat that but also trying to serve the community that remains disproportionately affected by it. So it was really interesting and inspiring to actually sit down and talk with them. So we'll be working on that at some point down the road. And so yeah, that's the latest from here in San Salvador. It's a very busy market behind me, as you can see. And we're uh, standing about three or four blocks from the main cathedral here in San Salvador and uh, the National Theater as well. So um, it's the latest from here in the Salvadorian capital. Um, otra vez, como siempre, uh, gracias por su interés en mi viaje a Centroamérica y mi reporteaje sobre esa región. Voy a tener más artículos, voy a tener más puestos en mis redes sociales en los próximos días. Y como siempre, muchísimas gracias por su interés y nos hablamos pronto. Hasta luego.